The polymorphic ornament and crime has had a number of major updates in 2017, with firmware 1.3.3 being the latest at the time of filming. These updates have delivered numerous additional modes, including a complex and fun sequencer mode called Sequence. Sequence packs in two independent CV and gate sequencers, each capable of playing back from two to 64 steps, with built-in quantization, clock or CV address of playback, envelope generators, and more. Each sequence can consist of two to 16 steps, with four sequences contained in each channel. These sequences can be chained together to form longer sequences, or triggered from an external source to alternate between them. The sequence layout splits the trigger inputs and CV outputs between the dual sequencers. Trigger inputs 1 and 3 are clock inputs for sequencers A and B, respectively. Triggers 2 and 4 are the auxiliary trigger inputs and change between reset and step mute functionality for channels A and B. However, they can also be repurposed for the trigger and sample and hold playback modes. Outputs A and B carry the CV signals for the corresponding sequencer channels, while the ports below can be reassigned, but generally act as the sequence gate outputs. The CV inputs are also assignable. We'll get to these momentarily. Looking at the menu for sequence A, we can scroll through the options using the right knob, pushing it to select and then edit each setting. The first option disables or alters the musical scale quantization of the output sequence, similar to the functions in quantor main mode. There are dozens of scales to select from, along with scale masking, or you can turn quantization off for less traditional results. Check out our video on pitch quantizing with ornament and crime for more details on this functionality. Next we can select between sequences 1 through 4 and edit each of them. The left knob is used to select a step to edit, or pushed to disable or mute a step. The right knob sets the pitch of the selected step in semitones. Notice we can change the length of each sequence by selecting the final hollow cell on the far right and turning the right encoder. You can fine-tune each step by the hundredth of a semitone by pushing and holding the left knob and turning the right knob. Keep in mind this fine-tuning is pre-quantizer in the signal routing, so enabling a scale will shift these fine-tune amounts to the appropriate frequency. While playing back and editing one sequence, we can edit each of the other three sequences offline, that is, while they're not playing. Pushing the up or down button selects the next or previous sequence to edit, still playing back whichever sequence was originally selected in edit mode. This means you can set up a new sequence while the old one is playing, and then hop to it when appropriate. Next, we can select playback modes, 
playing the current sequence or tagging on one, two, or all three other sequences played end to end. The next settings, TR plus one through three, are similar, advancing to the next sequence when a trigger is received at the auxiliary trigger inputs two or four. ARP mode passes through the steps of the sequence, adding octave transposition and additional direction settings. S and H 1 through 4 are sample and hold address modes, each CV input being an option for address tracking. The CV modes are the same, however they do not require external triggers to change the address. Direction of the sequences can be toggled between forward, backward, two pendulum modes, either bouncing or or doubling the first and last note. Or Brownian probability, which sets a chance that the sequence will reverse direction on the next step. Each channel includes clock multiplication and division. Octave offset, reset or mute, and clock source options, as well as settings for output C and D, defaulting to gate pulse width. Gates can be swapped out for CV signal copied from output A or B, or in exchange for complex envelopes, saving you a module or two. is extremely performance friendly and offers a lot of functionality. What ornament and crime mode would you like to see us discuss next? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.